scapula is a piece of steak. On the top of the steak, you go down about an inch or two, and there's a dip right in here. And this is an awesome spot for shoulder pain, shoulder injury, mental stress, and it's also called the small intestine number 11. Now she likes this because she's got a shoulder injury, right? You feel that? <laughs> I think this is what Spock used to do. That's what I was thinking. I, I, said, I think about when I was at Shion's, I'm like, one. he used to do that. He used to poke people, thing. you know? <laughs> so, so there is truth to Eastern medicine. There really, really is. It really does help. And I can't believe it. Some, sometimes clients will, when I'm getting in here or I'm pressing on here, they're like, oh, they're so sore. I'm like, you're not even going to be sore tomorrow because it's been more of a release. So that's the whole purpose of massage, getting into the body, going in as deep as we can, and releasing those muscles so now you have more room. Because your body does this, it gets all compacted in there from daily activities, your running, whatever. And we want, as therapists, get in there and try to release that so you just have more room. The other um, modality I like to use a lot is Thai massage. Much like Shiatsu, typically done in the recipients, usually in their clothes, on a floor. I incorporated it into my work. I don't have a big room, so I don't have the space to do the floor. So I'll do it on the table. And uh, one of my favorites to do to not to the for runners, one of my favorite things to do. This is great for your hips. So Thai is activating muscles and compressing in other areas, stretching. So, relax. <laughs> a lot of people want to help. So here, this is going to work in here. It's also, I'm going to be pulling this way. It's going to feel good on the quad. So we do this. And we do that. Wow. It's really good. It actually oh, okay. it it'll really look good. like it feels really good. It, it yeah. would be painful if you have an yeah. issue. Okay. Yeah. But again, it brought awareness. That's the thing. You'd be like, oh my god, I didn't even know I was sore there. That's <laughs> usually what I hear. Okay, so now we're getting the movement going. Um, I've lately had many people coming in with um, psoas issues. A psoas is a deep hip flexor. It attaches to your lumbar, and it touches down near your pubic area. So a lot of times we feel it in here, we feel it here, sometimes we feel it here, and it's a muscle deep in here. So this is really good for that. And we want to rotate. Breathing is really important because it helps to get that oxygen back to the areas that I'm working on. It's like having babies. They made you breathe when you were pushing. So it's the same thing. Now to give her that psoas stretch, put the foot close by to her glutes. This is going to stretch here. When you see her chin moving like that, she's going up and down. Now I'm engaging her spine. It's elongating it. So I do get many calls, they 